Ano Dr. Kiza Abesije, uruwa lero ayogede kate, ntiye, ebi intubino ya viku asa president Chagulani Center mu, Robert Bobby Wine kubaya abisobola, ya yale tenuwa nempia, ya labada basitailo, jalo anisiza mwa M7 na mtu sa kuchisenga tali mkufesa. Agamba, ntijeno M7 ye kwa atakubisubi, tacha ina chaku zako, era gunogwa mkisa uge tulina, president Chagulani Center mu alangiri de, mtino tuweka la kase. Nocho kano Dr. Kiza Abesije agamba, Goe na atagenda kweka la kasa, atagenda kudamu koro ya president Chagulani Center mulu bati Bobby Wine, no gano kweka la kasa, gwe jizibu cha Uganda nambe mu, msewe na jaba sichizibu, tuina usu akuja o gwe, aganyo kweka la kasa, atolva ni matulumbe jeno msewe ni wajari. No ule chonge na kuruo kuna, urawi cheno, kwe kweka la kasa fuweke, ala simbe vitoke makubwa mbisimbe, ala kwa atepi pande mbikwate, Tewali mkutambula, tewali chini suna chigena kukole wawo kujonga jeno mseve na avudeko. Ayatu ina moja kwa mzine naku, ngari musamiti, aswale mba genya wa kubeti ya gas na wawo kubeti ya gas na wawo kubeti ya gas wa muulile. Paka alo ana fulu megwanga Uganda, ayatu edizo buinza wa megwanga la fe. Kano Dr. Chiza besi jebigambo bie kamubawe, asinzi de katonga, mulukunga na lua forces of change, united forces of change, na katiza anti ye chino chino ya shukua sa president Chagulani, edana agamba yo president we guango mulonde, era wa kulembe demolu tabalo luno fenatu ina gobelera ye tina yari na ye na mba na Uganda msituke tuwe kalakasi Once again, give hope to our country. I want to thank you, President Robert Chakulani. You could not have said any better what next. It was a challenge. Chidako, wali watacha amanye chidako. Nobody can claim not to know what next. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we all know, just for emphasis, that since Uganda became Uganda, that's by the British. Our people have never had power. We wrote it in the Constitution, but they did not get the power. The power belongs to them, but definitely they don't have any power. The institutions of state through which their power should be exercised do not work for them. All the institutions of state, as my colleagues have said, we are captured. They don't serve them. That's why the representatives of people in the parliament can be attacked in broad daylight, beaten, arrested from their parliament and nothing happens. That's why people's courts 
that derive power directly from the people can be attacked in broad daylight and people injured bleeding in the courts and nothing happens. All institutions of state are captured. They were talking about the electoral commission. <coughs> The Electoral Commission is thoroughly captured. It can never organize a free and fair election. It can't. Even if actually they did not appoint the cadres, it's just because we have a, you know, somebody who is a terrified dictator who cannot even allow anything to chance. But even if he didn't appoint his candidates as the electoral commissioners, the electoral commission as an institution is still captured. The trouble in Uganda is that the captor, the one who captured all these, is also a very, very, you know, evil captor. Because even in the countries where there is no democracy, you can have a leader who thinks about his people. You can have a dictator that serves people. People have been saying here that Idi Amin was not elected, and he wasn't. Idi Amin was not even educated. But the things that Museven, who has been in power for 40 years, is using, a lot of them are Idi Amin. The soldiers he's so proud of are living in the barracks built by Idi Amin. And many other things that Idi Amin did which this one has undone. So we are so unlucky that we got a terrible dictator. Because some dictators can also be good and provide for people. Ours is not among those. That's why When he is going between Entebbe and Kampala, they close off everything so that he alone is on the road, fearing his own people. So we have a predator in charge of a country. You know, devoury what they would be serving. So that's why our uniting here today is critical and as has been underpinned by everybody. If we are to get out of the situation in which we are, we have to do two things. The first one we are doing today, we have to unite and remain united. We unite and remain united. united. And not just uniting in words. We must unite in every sense. Look at every person that is suffering from this junta as your brother. We are in a difficult situation. The other day I was complaining about people stealing my madoff. <laughs> in my garden. I have a small garden at home. But they came at the night and cut the biggest six branches in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the plantation. And I said, you know, the ones who have taken this madoff are, of course, suffering neighbors who have nothing. The real thief of my matoka is the one who has created the situation. 
<laughs> the one who has created the situation where Ugandans cannot eat, have no food, is the real problem. I've been seeing, you know, that they have started a special operation to hunt down the phone snatchers, the ones who capture your phone when you are talking and, and run with it. They are looking for what to eat. The real phone snatcher is up there. <laughs> Who has put these people in that kind of a situation? And so, look at your neighbor as your real brother. In this struggle, share the little that you can. Irregardless of which color, which country, I mean region, which a person is coming from. I've been saying for a very long time that they are two Ugandans. The Uganda of those who are very well off, who don't know what is going on. The ones who are being protected from the ones who are bad off. All of us in this Uganda, the terrorized Uganda, we must develop unique comradeship. It's not just uniting here to talk, but wherever we find each other. If you have one commando, break it into two for your brother who has nothing. You need that, you need togetherness, unity, on the basis of which we can liberate our country. Secondly, I just want to assure you, those who think they are powerful and have power only have it because you allow them to have it. Right. Are we together? Yes. People are only powerful or have power because they are allowed to have power. If we unite and say we no longer recognize you as our leader, we no longer <coughs> We will not serve you, we will not associate with you, we will not have anything to do with you, that is the end. And that is our next mission. The next mission must be to isolate and exclude and disempower those who captured our power. And we can, and we should, we must. These actions we are talking about, which have been talked about here, let them be the beginnings of rebuilding confidence in our people that this is their country and that they can do something about their country. Because our people have been so terrified that they have lost confidence in their citizenship. Thank you for commanding President Chagulani that people from today must look at article number three and do everything in their power. Wherever you are, wherever you are, you do everything in your power. power. Let us not hear again, Mutugambachi, Tubagambi, we have told you today what you need to do. <laughs> We are not going to do it alone, we are going to do it together. We are going to do it together. On Thursday, we shall be out there. We shall be out there. You will not be alone. And they, how, how, how much power do they have to stop us? On Thursday, they may go and surround Donary Bochabulani's home. How many homes can they surround? <laughs> so if they surround the Orani Pochagurani's home, don't uh, even go there. You go to do what you need to do. 
to do and they will be forced to come. The way to free anybody they encircle is to do what you need to do, they will have to run away from where they are encircling. How many homes can they encircle? Everybody, you can be a good wine wherever you are. You don't need to. Because we should not wait for some people to do anything. We are the people we have been waiting for. Tewali Manala, Pet Avaino Kolachi, Okchekolera. No foreigner is going to liberate us, it is us to liberate ourselves. So, ladies and gentlemen, the purpose that has been served today is, I believe, twofold. One, to declare the unity of the suffering people of Uganda. That's the first. Secondly, to say that these suffering people of Uganda are now coming. Yeah. We are coming for our power. Whether you like it or not, we are, we are coming. Let us see that starting slowly, slowly. On Thursday, do what you can. Let's see what people can start doing. But beyond that, we are going to Iganga on Monday. And on Tuesday, we, are, we shall be in the Iraq. Let our brothers in Lalo prepare. Let our brothers in Busoga prepare. As our brothers elsewhere are warming up. <laughs> I have said it took our ancestors, grandparents and grand grandparents, sixty two years to get rid of the Bazoo. Uganda Agreement was signed in 1900, but it took 62 years to undo the Uganda Agreement and Uganda to, be, to become independent of the British. 62 years. This is the 62nd year under the Bazungu Vatuga. <laughs> For 62 years, we have now been under the what the, the the, the black bazoon, the black British. We shall be found wanting if our grandparents did it in 62 years and we failed to do it in 62 years ourselves. With our Zungu, we can now speak English, French, Chinese, what? We have mobile phones, we can connect. Anytime you send a message, everybody knows they didn't have. So how can we fail in 62 years to liberate our country? This is the 62nd year. For me, I'm giving you a target. Say, October, when the 62nd year ends, we are going to Uganda and get it free. Have a Yes. It will be 62 years in October. There are no independent centers yet to eat a cup. <laughs> and that will be over Nangi. You see, we can no longer blame Museveni after 40 years. We must start blaming ourselves. Because for him, he has everything he fought for, and he, he doesn't want anything to change. He's even preparing to hand over to his son. We are waiting that he also hands over to his son and we are saying, Ikari, what, what is this? No. <laughs> 62 years let us. So ladies and gentlemen, I would like to thank all of you, leaders, 
activists for the determination that has been shown so far. This is the beginning. Let us charge into the future to reclaim our country. Our country shall be free. We shall allow. Ah, <laughs> Echidako, President Chagulani Achibagambi, Atenga Guya Kwasi and Songa Zino, Ezo Kurani Sadna Chema and Ajeno Hautam Seven. Chagulani Abanga Bagambi Kwe Kalakasa, Mwe Kalakasi. Anaga no Kwe Kalakasa, Todangam. Todangam. Okugamba Munaite Batu Gamba, Atemu Tugamba, Atemu Dumiri, Adumi de Chue De. Oba Mune Kalakasa Ancha, Oba Kuruwa Kuna, Oba Weche Ja, Oba Mwezo Guja, Na Ye Ya Dumi Dama Ze. Ato Ye Oda, Katimu Musala Odilo Mwene Nukwe Kalakasa, Ya Bagambi Mwe Kalakasa. Tawa Gambi Lero, Oba Saweno, Wabula Bagambi Mwe Kalakasa, Omuri Anga Mufu Nyovude, Nga Mwju Devulunji, Mwe Kalakasa, Tue Kalakasa, Tungwe Gwanga La Fe, Tereza Uganda La Fe, Elio Chechia Gilota President Chagulani, Ne Kano Dr. Keza Vesije, Agambi Aota Vawo, Alina mwe, alina ye. Tumugena kweka la kasa mweka wabula na fe mwe tuli. Tugena kwa munga tuweka la kasa. Paka nga tugebe jeno yoka guta mseven. Habana berida, mutulinde. Habana beiganga, mutulinde. Ayeje standi kide. Tuino kuja kuna chema ila jeno yoka guta mseven. Ewe nisibi ya kusaga, sibi ya manyo wenu. Kale magala nyo. Omuka makatonda nsaba wangu mire. Tujakuwa tudamutu bigambe bigambo. Manyo wanyo mwera ba.